What is good, right? Today we are reviewing the WWE Mattel WWE Knuckle Cruncher Series Number Two figures. Now I did find these on a toy hunt. If you guys missed that toy hunt, you definitely need to go check out that toy hunt. It was a pretty good one, pretty good toy hunt over there. But today we are reviewing Series Number Two featuring Cody Rhodes. Bobby Lashley, Sheamus, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. We also reviewed series number one not too long ago. I want to say it was a month or two ago. We took a look at series one, and we will do some comparisons in this video, but we do have the full wave here. I think series three is also hitting. It features Rey Mysterio, Dominic Mysterio, AJ Styles, and a second release of John Cena, but he is in a shirt this time, which actually looks better than his first go around. But taking a look at the entire wave here, we have Cody Rhodes, which potentially could be my favorite in the set. I'm a big Cody guy, and we will rank this set from worst to best when we get the full review done but we do have Cody Rhodes here it says Knuckle Crunchers the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes he comes with a barricade there which I think last came I don't remember who the hell it came with maybe The Rock I can't remember off the top of the dome but here on the back you can see he's beating up Bobby Lashley there got the rest of the figures in the wave and the rebound ring which I've yet to review the next figure in the set is going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin love that they went with the jorts look the backstage attires are always what set me off so I always love getting any promo attire or any backstage gear that's not wrestling gear for a wrestler I love it but he comes with a steel chair Knuckle Cruncher Stone Cold Steve Austin Austin on the back he's beating the hell out of Sheamus and you can see all the different stuff there. Next up, we do have Sheamus, who looks good here. Nice art there. I, I love the box art on the side, too. I want to take this time to mention that. The box art, whoever does the box art on these is a, is a really, really talented. So, shout out to them. Got the ladder on the side there, which I don't think I've owned before. But all the same here, but it does feature Sheamus. He's also beating the hell out of Bobby Lashley. And the last figure in the set is Bobbeth Lashley here. And you can see the artwork. It's pretty much all the same. You get an action shot here. The name, Knuckle Crunchers. He comes with a barbell. And on the back, he's beating the hell out of Sheamus. So, Sheamus and Bobby Lashley just taking all the beatings in these packagings but nice side art there as well but that is our full packaging review of the knuckle cruncher series 2 but what we're going to do is crack all these figures out of their packaging take a look at them diagnose them get into the details find out what the hell they're all about and see if these are indeed worth a damn so let's crack them out of their packaging so here are all the figures out of the packaging. We have Series 2 featuring all four figures here, man. What we're going to do is start on the left and work our way all the way through the right, covering each figure, breaking it down, looking at the details and all the different things, man. So with that being said, let's dive into Bobby Lashley. So Bobby Lashley does come with a barbell that did not exist in Series 1, and it does break away, so that's pretty cool there, you know? I don't think you could really do that, but for the playability, I like it. It's got these nice plates on here, and it actually has 75 pounds. Jesus Christ. You're telling me that this is like 450 on each side? Something like that? Get the hell out of here. It does say Barbell has the WWE logo, and I like that it has those details on it, so that's pretty cool. So you know you can whack somebody over the head and kill them with this. But then we have the Bobby Lashley figure itself. Now, all of their articulation is the same that we saw with Series 1. They can rotate out here. Arms can go about 90 degrees. You get the full rotation with the, with the ratchet joint there. No hand or articulation or anything. Their waists also swivel. You can hear that loud cracking noise. It's the ratchet. And then their heads do move side to side. They don't go up. Uh, you can get a little bit of head mo moving out of there but this really does look like a shrunk down elite version of Bobby Lashley in the head sculpt each one of these head sculpts looks like a current Mattel WWE elite or basic head sculpt just shrunk down this looks like the elite 95 Bobby Lashley but he has the black wrist tape black elbow pad the trunks look pretty good here the tights he does have the silver and the red going on pretty cool gear you can see the details on the belt and the logos and everything like that almighty on the side and then he has the black boots not bad not bad whatsoever you know, you don't get a ton or an ish ton of details out of here, but I low-key like it. But the legs can kick forward a little bit. They go off to the side, though. You don't get a straight leg kick, but... He can do the splits for whatever reason, and he can bring them together there, and he can kick forward a little bit. See, you know, you can get a little bit of posability out of there, but I, I don't know. I, I like the Bobby Lashley. Now, getting into one of my favorite figures, it has to be the Cody Rhodes figure. And this head sculpt looks just like the head sculpt that I don't really like that Mattel gives him. They put this on every damn Cody Rhodes figure, it seems, but it actually kind of has more likeness than that one. But one thing you'll notice is on Cody Rhodes Mattel Elite figures, they always put the tattoo on the jawline right here, and it looks ridiculous. This this is how it should be made on the elites, the basics, the ultimates. Do not put the tattoo on the head sculpt so when you turn his head, you can see that the tattoo's not on his face and it doesn't break the illusion. This looks really good. Great job. Whoever designs these figures, I'm giving you a standing applause right now. That is beautiful. Also, not to mention, most of these figures, I think this is the first figure that actually features the tattoos. Roman Reigns didn't have his tattoos in Series 1. Seth Rollins didn't have his tattoos. And The Rock didn't even have his Brahma Bull in Series 1. So having the dream... How come Cody Rhodes gets the neck tattoo and the dream tattoo, but The Rock doesn't get the Brahma Bull, or Seth Rollins doesn't get his back tattoo? I think Brock Lesnar actually has his tattoos on his chest, but he didn't have his back tattoos. I haven't unboxed it yet, but I think he 
does have the sword on his chest or his sternum, whatever. But then on his back, I don't think it features all these. But this looks pretty good. The Dream and the American Nightmare logos are perfectly placed. I like the musculature here. The tights are very clean with their graphics. They went all out on this Cody. I mean, he even has the boot deco. He's got the tights deco. This is basically a knuckle crunchers equivalent of the Elite 101 Cody Rhodes. And he even has the hand tape. So this figure is very sweet. And again, he has the exact same articulation here. But this is probably my favorite one that I've seen so far. I don't know. We, we are going to rank them at the end. But this is an early contender. We'll have to see how it's all said and done. But Cody Rhodes also comes with two silver barricades. So he does have the silver barricade or the metal barricade that does break in half. And he comes with two of them. And I think the Rock came with two of them last time. But even if the Rock didn't come with them, we did get two in Series 1 as well. But you get two of those with your Cody Rhodes knuckle cruncher from Series 2. But moving into the Stone Cold, we do get a steel chair in silver. And it does have some operation here. So you can kind of like set this up. Uh, I don't know if they'd be, really be able to sit in it that well. You know, if you take Austin here... The legs are very weird. I feel like they're going to snap or something, but I don't know. You kind of you kind of sit it on there. It doesn't look the greatest, but I don't know. I don't know if they're going to really expand the universe of these knuckle crunchers. You know, I don't think we're going to be getting a commentary team or anything like that, but you do get this silver chair, and then you do get the little impact effect here. I think last time it was blue. This time it is red, but it's got some nice details in there or whatever, and it plugs onto this peg that's on the back of the silver chair for you to, you know, have your impact there. So, I don't know. Pretty cool accessory. I always, uh, you know, any weapon weapons or accessories they want to throw in these things I'll always appreciate but getting into the Stone Cold Steve Austin figure this is the same head sculpt we have seen before with the this came on the Royal Rumble Elite this head sculpt did and the shirt I guarantee when I flip this figure on the back it will not have the skull graphic on the back of the shirt you ready for the test I guarantee it doesn't have the smoking skull I just I freaking knew it that reminds me of when I was a kid man it used to piss me off we would get all these these Stone Cold Steve Austin figures from Jax they never had the skulls on the back of the vests or anything it used to drive me nuts I, it used to drive me nuts, man. So everything we get from Mattel now where they actually include the skull graphic on things, I always appreciate that. But I didn't really expect them to put that on there. I know it's a big deco hit. It would have been a nice big smoking skull, but... This looks really good. I would have wished they would have put a watch on here, a printed on watch instead of black wrist tape, but I get it. I get what they were going for here. I would have preferred no black wrist tape, but the Austin 316 looks clean. The jorts color is chef's kiss. A perfect jorts color, very light denim, and he even has the shirt tucked in, which is another nice detail. Now, you may be able to add another detail. They did paint the belt the light blue color. I may come in with some black paint and add that. You could really fix these figures up. If you really wanted to go all out, you could do some different things to fix these figures up, but the Austin is badass. Short boots, he does have his knee pads in there. Not really knee braces, but again, you could probably attempt something. You could put something over his knees or something to really bring that, you know, that detail out, but this is a badass figure. I like this Stone Cold a lot, but he is the second to last figure in the set, but our, for our last figure in the set, we do have Mr. Sheamus here, and this head sculpt is pretty much the Elite 84, I think it was Sheamus, or was it Elite? I don't know, my mind's... Maybe nine. 97 head sculpt. I think the Elite 97 Sheamus head sculpt. Very bright orange. It does not have that darkish realistic tone. It's more of like the early 2010s you know, when his hair was really, really bright and saturated. But good likeness. I can tell immediately who this is. Very good trunks. He's got... Okay, that's weird. On the on the art on the back, he has red wrist tape and red details in his trunks. But then in the figure itself, it's black and white. So it still looks good. You got the Celtic cross or the Celtic cross on the back there and the black. It's all right. It's not bad whatsoever. I think it looks just like the character. So I don't really have any issues there. But the hair looks really good. I like the likeness and everything. And again, all the articulation is the same for the Seamus figure. But pretty fun little figure. But let's get into the ladder accessory. First time I'm getting a ladder here. I am going to... Can you even close this? I don't think you can close this. Hold up. Now, I don't think you can close it, but it is this bright orange color. And it's kind of funny that it matches Seamus. But you can set this up and then break it. And let me look at the back right here. Can you not, like... It says it folds in right here. And I guess it does, but... Okay, I was thinking you laid it flat and you, like, crushed it, like the ones that come with Elite Kevin Owens, but I guess you throw it into them. I guess you throw Superstars into it and it's supposed to, like, crumble. But, I mean, you can disconnect that and have it, like, you know, I, I don't know. You can't really lay it flat, but you understand what we're doing here. You can stand the ladder there, and if you want to... I don't think they can... Can they even stand on this? Like, is that even a thing? Okay, you can... You can kind of stand on it. They're kind of leaning back, but you may be able to... You know, you may be able to do a little display there. You're just going to have to set that up. But, you know, I know if it's for kids playing and all this mess, you could do all kinds of crazy matches. But I like the Seamus figure. But before we get out of here, let's uh, let's rank this set from my least favorite to my favorite 
out of all of these figures that we have going on right here. All right, man, starting out at the bottom of my ranking, I'm gonna go with the Seamus figure. I just think it's the least exciting out of all of them. Not a bad figure, it's just not one that really got me too hyped, so I went with Seamus at the bottom. Next up, we have Bobby Lashley. Again, not my favorite of all time. I don't hate the figure, but I just think that it's not. I wasn't as excited for this one as I was, uh, you know, for the other two characters in the set. So we have Bobby Lashley coming in at the number three spot. Now, this is a tough one. Coming in at number two, I went with the Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, I think if this actually had the smoking skull on the back and it wasn't as, you know, it's not as detailed as the Cody Rhodes is at the end of the day. It really would have popped me had it had the smoking skull in the back and it probably would have got the number one spot. But number one is going to be Cody. I think having the, you know, having the neck tattoo in the right spot and actually including the dream and neck tattoos, all this deco it has going on, the Cody Rhodes is my favorite out of the set. A really strong set, but that doesn't that doesn't negate us from bringing in series number one here and looking at Roman Reigns. You have The Rock here. We have our Seth Rollins, and we have John Cena. Now, we have a whole little collection right here of all these characters. Now, if I was going to compare series one and two, it is difficult because series one has the bigger name value, right? The more star power. But series two has some bangers. Austin and Cody are very strong. I think that the Seth Rollins not having his tattoos, Roman not having his tattoos, The Rock not having his tattoo, it kind of devalues the set, but... If I had to pick, I think I'd roll with Series 2, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. I really do like the Cody Rhodes. It'd be fun if we get, like, 30 of these figures one day. Could rank every single knuckle cruncher from worst to best. That may be a video that we could do one day. But I enjoyed this line a lot. I can't wait to find Series 3. And I need to unbox my Brock Lesnar so that I can get another knuckle cruncher onto my display. But at the end of the day, man, I really like these figures. I think you should grab them. They have really cool accessories. And they're a fun line to collect and, you know, play around with. If, you know, put them on your desk. Open up the rebound ring and slam some guys around. But anyways, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up our Knuckle Cruncher Series 2 review. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'd like to know what you think of these figures down in the comment section below. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members of the EMDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all those fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support on the channel. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.